What's up guys, today I'm going to review Beelzebub because I can, I will and it's that awesome. Beelzebub is a story about a delinquent who has to take care of a demon baby because he is the most evil person that the nanny could find. He must raise this demon baby so that when he grows can take over the world. So let's check the characters. The characters, that's Tatsumi Oga is a high school delinquent that is dumb but strong. His stupidity is the reason why I'm kept on laughing and his insane strength is why I'm kept on the edge of my seat. He knows some things like what a man should be always teaching that kind of stuff to baby Bill. Baby Bill, not his real name, his real name is long as fuck and hard to pronounce that I'm going with Baby Bill because it sounds right. It's the demon baby that when he cries unleashes an electric shock kind of thing that damages anyone that is near. So my thoughts, it started out great. The first chapters had me glued like a kid. It was a bumpy ride because there were chapters that were awesome but some weren't. The character development is also great, although it's slow as fuck but it keeps you engaged because of its action and humor. Some chapters give you lessons on what a man should be, how important friends are, and some just like that. To be honest, I love chapters like those this made the manga gain experience points from me but then there are chapters that are called fillers they are just there to fatten the manga skippable chapters or shit well i guess that's to be expected the action is fucking awesome the only problem i have is that this is one of those typical overpowered main characters well being the sundere that i am i actually like how it's overpowered because it emphasizes his badassery there are some chapters that show how he trains and shit if you're going to do something cliche like the invincible main character then you better do it right unlike some manga i'm looking at you fairy tale note to self review fairy tale the art is great the characters are memorable but there are some cockies in this manga do you know how it feels to see your two favorite characters develop in the long run when it hints that there will be some, there will not. It's like after making you hard, it punches the hell out of your dick. But I guess I expected too much. This isn't a romance manga. I love how the manga teaches you about what it means to be a real man and shit like that. Some chapters can be kind of silly, others can also leave a soft feeling inside. The action can be a bit repetitive, it always ends with one punch. Hmm, where did I heard that before? If you're going to do an overpowered main character, that finishes everything with one punch, then you better do it right. See, one punch man. Anyway, the manga is fucking awesome. If you love comedy and action, then you'll definitely need to read this. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more manga reviews. See ya!